Nice to see How are you? I'm fine. What nice. a beautiful sight oh. to behold. Thank you and thanks Come to you. Come sit down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Monique. Yeah, I'm so glad you're in town. Oh, yes. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> thank you. to you. How was your trip to Dubai? I hope the money I sent you was enough. Enough? It was more than enough. I swear I shopped till I could shop no more. If you see my store now, hmm, Selfridges does not hold a candle to it. Trust me. I'm very happy to hear that. Thank you, but you see, I'm not nice. here to talk about me. I'm here to talk about you. How are you? I'm fine. How is business? Uh, business has never been better. <laughs> ah. So by that, I take it that you clinched the last deal we talked about? But which one is that? Um, there was one you mentioned uh, between you and uh, some bishop guy. Blood diamond. Oh, yes. I now have the blood diamond in my care. But the bishop is off it. <laughs> what happened? Not for you to bother. It's all business. Oh, okay, fine. It's yeah. fine by me. Yeah. So tell me, are the diamonds here? Yes, yes, yes. Can I see? No. Not for your eyes now. First thing first. <laughs> I've missed you. I want to have you now. <laughs> come, <laughs> come to me now. No problem. I've missed you too. Let's get started. I have a special treat for you. I have a treat for you. Oh, I can treat for it. <laughs> Can a waitress bring up a bottle of red wine? Yes. And note, I said waitress. Thank you. Is here? All six of them. Oh. Oh. Let me. Oh, of course. Oh. 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 
and the son of a bitch. Sadiq has been taken care of. Good. It's sad. He was good to me. He was good to Monique. <laughs> Poor Sadiq. Oh, he should have listened to me. But what can I say? <laughs> like the world, he allowed greed to bring about his downfall. My dear, you will stay for dinner. It's been a long time since you graced my table. I'll be honest. It will be nice to, to be seen to be back here in the Lenten season. I need to see the money first. Oh, really? It's of the purest quality. I'm glad to know. It was really good doing business with you. Send me well to your boss. I hope to see him someday. They're searching, are you sure? 
What do I do? Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Please relax. I I saw you in there and I couldn't help. I mean, your beauty took me off my feet, so I just wanted to say hello, you know, get to know you. Oh. And then I was uh, thinking the policeman was chasing me. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> but are you okay? You don't look that fine to me. I mean, you look pale. Uh, I'm, um, I'm, no, actually I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I, I just suddenly had this headache. Yes, it just took over me and I, I, I don't know how I'm going to drive. I'm afraid something might happen. Um, if you don't mind, uh, well, I'm not harmful, as you can see. I could take you home, that is, if it's not too far away from here. You do that? Of course, I mean, that's why we are there. I would like that very much, thank you. All right, okay, then uh, give me a minute. Uh, I want to speak to my partner. Right. Let's go. Don't worry, I have it under control. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I was uh, honored to, you know, drive you home. I yeah. hope you are feeling better. I'm uh, kind of. Okay. And I hope I'm going to see you again. I hope so. I know so. What's your name again? Uche. Uche. Yeah. Nice to meet you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. forgive you, okay? Uh, I was just calling to find out whether I could take you out to dinner or something. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just got back from a business trip and I'm really tired, so maybe some other time. Yes, I just want us to, you know, start knowing each other, you know, get rolling, you know what I mean. Yes, I'll try. Okay. Take care of yourself, okay? Bye.
Isabella and Mrs. Isabella. Hello, Juliet. How are you? Hello. Mrs. Isabella, I promised to come to my birthday party. Oh, I did. Oh, so sorry. I had to travel for a business meeting. That's the travel for you to share my birthday. You did? Oh, thank you so much, Juliet. You know what? I promise I'll get you a birthday gift. My dear Isabella, that little girl seems to be well taken with you. I have no idea why. Mm. I wonder. doing a very good job. Keep it up. Thank you, Chris. Now tell me, how many of these children are ripe for harvest? Well, let me see. Five of them, here, Chris, including Miss Isabella's touch bearer, Esther. Well, my dear, how does it feel to know that in, in, in a few days you'll be delivering your little love's organs? Mm -hmm. You know me, Your Grace. I don't let sentiments get to the way of business. That's my Isabella. You never cease to amaze me with such total dedication to business. I have no choice. It's how I earn a living. Mm -hmm. It's true. <laughs> oh. Before I forget, uh, there will be a press coverage of the foundation in two days' time. And I want you to prepare for it because you'll be handling it. Press? Yes. Um, Your Grace, I doubt if the thing the organization needs right now is publicity. Yes, you are very right. But believe you me, they've been on my neck for quite a, quite a while now. I have tried to fob them off with one excuse or the other. This can't go on forever. If we don't give them an interview now, they are going to become suspicious and then they will get on our necks. Even then, I don't think I'm the one for this job. Considering what I do, I think it's best if I just remain at the background. I shouldn't make my face very camera friendly, if you know what I mean. Yes, I think you have a very good point there. And uh, I will think about it to see if we cannot find another way around it. But meanwhile, Dr. Frederick, I want you to seal up every activity concerning the foundation after tomorrow's delivery. Is that clear? We don't want to smell a rat. Oh, do we? That should be taken care of, your grace. No problem. Good. My dear. Wellspring Foundation is a charitable organization founded to cater for the, uh, the, the well-being of the less privileged children, residents or otherwise. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, at this juncture I would like to make a statement. That uh, Wellspring Foundation is the brainchild of Archbishop Osuchi my humble self and I will also like to add that Wellspring Foundation is not under the auspices of the church as you ladies and gentlemen of the press seem to think sir does Wellspring have specific age range for the children they take in or does the foundation accommodate both infants and babies as well as teenagers uh, well um, at the center we take children from the ages of 6 to 18 and while and while they are staying with us we endeavor to train them train them in different disciplines to aid them on, uh, on, on their sojourn in, in the outside world but 
Wellspring Foundation does not stop there. It is renowned for charitable, the, the, the charity balls that it holds every year. It does that to raise funds for the welfare of infants in, in, the, in, in the various um, homes approved. Mr. Suji, I see some of the beds are empty. Do we take it to mean the foundation is running short of less privileged trades or is it selective? Well, Ms. Reporter, it's impossible to run out considering how many helpless children are out there. And as for being selective, no, we welcome every child. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if that is all, why don't we retire into the boardroom where a light refreshment has been arranged for you, shall we? Thanking me, man, for I am your Messiah come alive. What rubbish is that? Who died to make you a Messiah? Wait until you see this then. Miss Isabella Osuji, granddaughter of Archbishop Theophilus Osuji, founder of Wellspring Foundation, addresses a press conference held in honor of the less privileged children. Now, See whose picture is on this page and tell me if I'm not your Messiah. Oh my God. Thank you for bringing her alive again. Thank you. Now, oh, where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious to see Isabella? Me? Uh, this is Uche. Uche. Isa Isabella, where? We, we met at the. Oh, the yes, yes, bar, yeah. of course. I'm so sorry. Hi. What are you doing here? You stay around? You no, know, I actually passed by to say hi. I mean, hello. Hello. I just realized you're always giving me, you know, excuses not to step out with me and I I just pass by to just talk with you, I mean even if it's just a dinner or something I'll be okay I'm sorry Uche my work takes a lot of my time, I have no room for socializing it's, it's obvious I can see that but I was thinking, you know everybody finds time to at least once in a while socialize so if you don't mind, I mean, just once, I'll, I'll, I'll be okay. Everybody socializes but me. I'm sorry, I can't. But nice to see you again. yourself. What are you doing here? It's a sunny day and I was just thinking, why not come get you and let's go have some fun. And if I said no? Well, as you can see, I don't give up. Aren't you supposed to be on duty or something? I took the day off just to make you happy. So please, let's not waste it, okay? 
Go change yourself and let's step out. Stop loving And I love you for loving me. So why don't you ever say it to me? I just did. I mean your own. But Che, you know how I feel about you, so don't pretend. In that case you wouldn't have any objection to my proposal. What proposal? Marry me, Bella. 
Make me the happiest man on earth. I know I can offer you much because you have it all. But I give you my heart and my soul. I don't know what to say. Just say yes. Yes, um, if it'll make you happy, I'll marry you. I don't know what to say, um, but yeah, you won't regret this, okay? Sisters, where is mommy? Where is she? That she can she hear my voice? I, I am. I'm sure she's. <laughs> oh, I did, darling. How are you, my love? Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Of course, I heard your voice. I just dashed into the kitchen to go prepare something to entice you. <laughs> so, how are you doing, my love? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. No, excuse me. You meet Isabella. The woman of my dreams. Oh, I've been waiting. In fact, we are getting married soon, so I decided to just bring her over so you can have a look at her. That's Larry, my in law, and this is Casey, my sister. It's very nice to meet you both. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, so what, what, what do we say? Congratulations are in order now, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, welcome to the family, Isabel. Thank you. Please sit, sit, sit. So, tell me, Uche, how is it going on in the force? We are trying, you know, we are trying our best. It's just that the good guys have gone to the best. Can I call it the calm before the mad dash? You can say that again. You know what? Your sister and I, we always get so worried anytime we hear that you're making a mad dash with the bad boys. So, I, I, I take it Isabella is also in the force. Ah. A different kind of force. She works with the Wellspring Foundation. Oh. Wellspring Foundation. Mm -hmm. What is Wellspring Foundation? It's a charity organization. A charity organization based on what? We do practically the same thing any other charity organization does. Oh, okay. I'm on my way. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, I have to go. Duty calls. So soon? I thought you could just stay a while and, you know, get to know them better. I know, I'm sorry. We can do this some other time. Okay. I'll see you at home. Okay. Bye, nice to meet you. Anyway! What do you think? Don't ask me. Excuse me, darling. I'll be right back. Casey, what do you think? You don't like the idea of me getting married to Isabella? <laughs> OJ, <laughs> it's not the idea of you getting married. It's the idea of the girl you picked for a wife. What do you know about her? You just met her. I don't need eternity to know her. Just one meeting is enough. That girl is not your type. Men looking at her, she's not your type. How do you know? I mean, this is a woman I love and I cherish. I mean, how can you just guess? You know, it's amazing how you allow the glamour around that girl to just blind you. That girl is not your type. Well, she's agreed to marry me, so that ends it. Okay? I love her and I, I cherish her, so please, get used to it. 
pay. Okay. If you say so. She's the woman of your choice. And you want to marry her. If you don't mind, excuse me, let me go finish up my cooking. Casey, Casey. organization is planning a fundraiser for this weekend. So I was sent on an errand to pick up the Nigerian ambassador to Dubai. He's going to be the chairman of the occasion. And your grandfather didn't get anybody by you, huh? I guess. Why? Well, I understand him. Meaning? I'm sure the ambassador started uh, signing his check when he saw you. Are you trying to imply that my grandfather is pimping me out? It's a compliment, my dear. I don't even <laughs> But I think you have a point. But come to think about it, I've been wondering. Do you think I should ask for a raise? Uh, it will help us. Look at you. <laughs> oh, God. Sweetie. Yeah? I've been thinking. If we do get married, when we get married? Do I have to move in here with you? Oof. Big question. Small answer. What do you want? Well, um, um, I have to confess I'm kind of sentimentally attached to my house, so... I was hoping we'd stay there. If that's okay with you. As you wish. Anything for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, have you eaten? Um, yes and no. You just want my cooking, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Yes, but I'm afraid he will not be able to see you. He had a very busy night. I see. Please let him know I'm around. I just told him that he had a And I said... <sighs> Never mind. Mrs. Isabella! Mrs. Isabella! Yes, it was. Good. And you enjoyed yourself with our Minister of Information? Tremendously. Good. And the documents I require? I have it. Well, well, well. In here is all the information on the deal between the federal government and South Africa. Mm. And there's a signed document by the South African delegates yes. to export 150,000 barrels to South Africa. 
quarterly. Uh, well, 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 my dear, once again you have surpassed yourself. Now I can pull the rug from under their feet and they wouldn't know anything about it. Well done. Well done, my daughter. Now tell me, what present can I give you for a job well done? I've decided to get married. I want your blessing. <laughs> You yourself know that is not possible. I mean, why don't you ask me something else and I'll make sure it goes through. Like, um, going to America, going to Russia, to Iceland, to uh, Australia. No, no, that is my problem, Your Grace, and you know it. <laughs> Besides, why is marriage out of the question? For the kind of job that you do? Oh, don't be absurd. You know, it is not possible. Even in a rare case of love. Love? <laughs> you? Love is not for people of your kind. Your kind of people don't have any heart at all. Oh no. You are too calculating. I am calculating, Your Grace, and have calculated well. I can take care of myself. All I want is your blessing. Don't be so greedy, my girl. You don't love this man. You only love the idea of the security that he represents. You just want to use this man. Remember, I know you very, very well. I may not disrespect your grace, but in this case, you don't know me at all. I have made up my mind and I will marry Uche. With or without my blessing. That is totally up to you. Like you know, I have never disrespected you. Nor gone against your wishes. So, please don't let me start now. And your job? Remains unaffected. My personal life will remain totally unconnected to my job. Besides, if you think about it, Uche's job might actually come in handy someday, saying that he's a police officer. to hear my man admit he can't do without me. Well, nothing wrong. See? Only if she says it nicely. Yeah, just nice. You promised you'd speak to your old man about us, did you? Yes. And? And he wasn't exactly taken to the idea of marriage. I knew that was going to happen. I knew you would definitely object. What was his reason this time? That I'm meaning it because of your money? Uh, no, come on. What did you expect? I mean, you think he would gladly consent to a marriage he barely knows anything about? Well, I think, I mean, it's not a dream of every man to just make sure his daughter gets married at the right time and properly. Uh, yes, but my grandfather kind of thinks differently. How different? Well, my grandfather is very possessive over me. He sees me as an asset, so I guess he's afraid marriage might interfere with my work. Hmm. All right. So let's do it this way. The next time you see him, just tell him, I will not interfere with your shadow, okay? I love you and I want to marry you. He can keep you and you work for him, okay? But trust me, I will not interfere with your shadows, okay? I'm sure he'll be glad to hear that. Yes. I'm on my way. Sorry, baby. Please 
Uh, I, I just got here. He's the boss. I just take out orders. I was thinking we could spend a couple of hours together since I'll be going to work soon. I thought we agreed this will not be a problem. Yeah, yeah, I know, but... Alright, okay. Tell you what. Why don't we go together? You sure? So you'll be okay if I change before we go? Because I'll be going to work afterwards. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. Right. So you change. much about you from the underground world. I was here appreciate. This is not why we're here, Maxwell. Do you have the information I need? Yeah, I do. But I must demand a pretty penny for Maxwell. Maxwell, you know money has never been the issue. I was here. You're a good customer, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait. What do I have here? What's going on in the underground world that uh, the federal government has actually cushioned who is doing the Springfield Foundation and that the activities are not only on charity after all? Or do you want the gory details? Nope, I just need to ascertain the authenticity of this claim and who has beheaded this investigation. <sighs> Baby, wounds me that you don't believe me, sweetheart. But Max never lies, okay? Or do you think that anyone who's been on drugs in Esponage can have the federal government on their tail? And who is the federal government in this case? Well, here we're talking about the NDLEA and the new police bureau of investigations set up to investigate all organizations with questionable repute. you were paid the last time. Hope you're happy. Well, hey, uh, I'm actually wondering what the Archbishop of such a reputable church will do in spearheading a mafia school like that. My business here is done. Your Grace, my fiance. And besides, you have to admit his presence made things normal. Well, but, but yes, but they're not, not not enough to warrant such recklessness. I mean, his presence could have ruined our mission. And I don't like your association with that boy. And any any relationship that we might have with, with, with authorities. 
I, we can do without. I can handle Uchi. And use him. If only you give me the go ahead to marry him. Oh, Isabella. Why do you insist on this foolhardy venture? Marriage to an officer for whatever reason is a reckless thing that will affect your performance and I do not like it. It will not affect my job and I can promise you that. As things are now, if it is men you want, you can take a peek. Those men are business and will remain so. I want to trade for kids. Speaking of business, what do you intend to do about this Snoopy IG of police and the NTLA chairman? Eliminate them if they refuse diplomacy. But I shall make them offers that they cannot refuse. <laughs> I am not ready to relinquish power yet. I have not achieved my aims. Well, if elimination is the end result, you know I'm always willing to do your bidding. Oh, my dear, I can always come to you, I know. On the condition that you give me the go-ahead to marry Uchi. Foolish girl. You are the only one in this world who can give me conditions. Well, seeing that um, you have replaced, refused to give me the to give in on this matter of this uh, police boyfriend. Well, I, I shall think about it. But, you will pay me something for twisting my arms so. I wasn't expecting it any other way, Your Grace. And I'm sure that's why you love me the most. Foolish girl. <laughs> I have good news. What's that? Yes. I'll give you a clue. What's the one thing you've been wishing for for quite a while? You? Hey. Are we getting married? Yes. You, you mean it? Yes. Oh. You finally gave us consent. Yes, you did. Oh, this calls for a celebration, right? I agree. One minute. Great. I'm sorry, I, I got carried away. Not that I don't want you to smoke, but I just don't want to lose you to any kind of cancer, you know. Please. But when you put it like that, it's very sweet. Okay. All right, so. Okay. There you go. To us, to marriage, to love. Mm. That sounds good. Okay. What are you waiting for? Baby, I love you. I love you too. I love you so good. I always say.
Asher? Um, Yvonne. Welcome. Um, Where is Isabella's friends? Or colleagues, if you put it that way. Oh, okay, I see. We actually heard about her engagement party and we decided to come and celebrate with her. Oh, okay. Okay. And you are? They call me Uche. Her fiance. Oh, okay. All right, uh, let's go in. I'll call her for you. Okay. All right. Isn't it good that we came back early? I mean, would we have missed all this? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a shame that you didn't tell us about your engagement party. If I didn't know you better, I would say that you didn't want anybody to know. I wonder if His Grace knows. Does he? Actually, Yvonne, the Archbishop is fully aware and has given his blessings. Oh. Mm. Let me introduce you formally to my man. These are my friends, oh, yeah. Yvonne and Natasha. Hi. Hello. Hi. This is Uchi. They were just about to leave. But I thought they just came in. Yes, but they have somewhere they have to be right now. No. Well, you see, Isabel, Yvonne and I actually came to say hello. Um, we have somewhere important to go to. Okay. So you guys have a lovely evening. No, but I'm not. Thank you for coming. Natasha, bye. 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 It's so hard for me to swallow, seriously. What is it, Yvonne? What are you going on about? You were there, Natasha. Are you trying to tell me that you didn't see the veiled insult Isabella threw our way? But you asked for it. What do you mean? But of course you asked for it, Yvonne. I mean, I told you it was a bad idea when you came up with the gate crashing her engagement party, but you wouldn't listen. I mean, considering the rivalry between you two, I don't blame her for feeling threatened and striking as she did. Well then, don't be too surprised if I decide to strike back again. Mm. <laughs> Isabel, you know, has never been an easy adversary, Yvonne. And that's why the Archbishop loves her so much. That is the problem. That is the crux of the matter. Why does His Grace favor her so much? I mean, we all came from the gutters, didn't we? So what is so special about her that she keeps breaking all the rules and getting away with it? There you go again, Yvonne. There you go again. What are these rules that Isabella keeps skipping? What are they? Because I can't seem to remember. Well, for one, the girls of the organization are not supposed to get married. But what has she done, if not push herself to the altar and to hell with the organization? But you heard that, Yvonne, the Archbishop has given her the go-ahead. I mean, maybe it's all a works for, for business purposes. Natasha, somehow I really don't believe that. But I tell you what, I will try as much as possible to find out every information I can. And if my suspicions are affirmed, I will enjoy being the thorn in the flesh of Isabella's marriage. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to know what you mean by that, Yvonne. But like I said, Isabella, you know, has never been an easy adversary. So be careful what you wish for, or else you might not like what you get in return. <laughs> Whatever. I'm... It's just a friendly advice. Ooh. you have some information that will be of interest to me. Yes, Your Grace. But it's nothing difficult or serious that you cannot handle, really. Ah. It's just a little matter of Isabella flaunting the rules and deciding to get married. I had a feeling that you had no knowledge of it, so I thought it wise to let you know. Oh, are you sure, really? Yeah. Yvonne? 
The tongue of the just is choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. I brought you all up to love one another. You hate Isabella, why? No, Your Highness. I don't hate Isabella, really, far from that. It's just that I'm very concerned that she might be getting in over her head and I'm very worried that her overconfidence will result in her downfall as well as the organization, that's all. Mm. He that hideth hatred with lying lips and utters slander is a fool. Yvonne? Well, it's no secret that you've always favored Isabella more than you do to the rest of us. <laughs> Your Grace, I'm only asking for you to give me a chance to prove to you that I am more than a match for her. I can take her over her assignments and even do them better, really, now that she has failed. <laughs> oh, my dear child. I have never doubted your tenacity. But I am not looking for a replacement for Isabella. She remains the head. Married or not? No. Not that she has agreed in marriage to love no other man other than her husband. No. What is marriage after all? A piece of paper written, signed, and can be locked up in a, in a safe immediately and forgotten. <laughs> Look, I am becoming even interested in this uh, marriage thing. Yes, I, it's... it's, 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 it's it um, puts a different complexion on things. I see. I just hope that your faith in Isabella will not be misplaced. Because at the rate at which she is going, she might end up failing all of us. And then you will remember that I told you so. Well then. May I be permitted to take my leave? Yes, my dear child. You may. And remember, in all things, let peace reign. I always believe that fate should be allowed to take its course. I came to pick up the casserole dish. I forgot the last party. Go inside. It's in the kitchen somewhere. Hmm. I didn't know you smoke. And you do it so well. There's a lot you don't know about me, Casey. Oh. Now that you mention, yeah, I don't. And why? You know, because the more I try to figure you out, the more enigma you become. Well, isn't it about time you stopped attempting to figure me out and just take what you see? You know that's not possible, Isabella. Come on. You may have succeeded in fooling my brother. I'm blinding him into believing you. But me? Uh-uh. You can't. You can't fool me. Because I believe there exists some murky water in this perfect personality of yours. If that was your attempt at a threat, didn't work. You see, Casey, Uche is where I want him to be. And a thousand of you can't wrestle him from my hold. Your hold? 
Your hold, Isabella? <laughs> is that how you see your relationship with my brother, Uche? Does it seem like some, so, like some poodle you put in a cage and then you bring it out to fiddle with whenever you so wish? If you choose to call your brother a poodle, that's fine by me. But I can assure you, he is one happy poodle. And he loves his cage very much. You know, I'm tired of this conversation. I'll go get your casserole. You just wait here. Brother, know you smoke. That was the question. Does your husband Larry know everything you do, Casey? Oh, don't answer that. Yes, and that makes you the fool. Casey, I must warn you. I will not tolerate an attempt to ruin my relationship from you or anyone else with Uchi. So I suggest you and I continue to pretend to be happy sister-in-laws, just for peace sake. With all due respect, what you're proposing, Your Grace, is absolutely impossible. The Wellspring Foundation having been formed under the auspices of the Anglican Church as a charitable organization, has turned around to be an uncharitable source of concern for this nation, as it has involved itself in crimes like drug trafficking, espionage, and all what not. In a situation like this, you will agree with me, as a matter of fact, that the organization must be shut down with as much ease as possible. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm sure it has not come to that. It is true that Wellspring has been a charitable organization for as many years as I care to remember. It is true that it's a, an organization that has won a lot of acclaim throughout the world. Um, <laughs> but it hurts me no less that slanderous accusations have been leveled against an organization that's been my singular brainchild for the good of mankind i'm afraid that is not true your grace what we brought before you is not an accusation it is a well investigated fact with damning consequences as a christian myself well, I, I, I am disappointed and I see it as my duty to wipe off the shame that she brought on the church community. Well, are we not saying the same thing? <laughs> I mean, what I was proposing and still is proposing is that you give me a little time to investigate these allegations, to find out who in my organization is trying to turn the work of God you know, into mockery. Gentlemen, I am giving you three million naira each just to buy me some time so that I can carry out this investigation and find out the culprit. And when I do, it shall be well punished. Thank you for that stunning offer, Your Grace. But I'm afraid we must refuse you. Because, you see, the federal government is now in the pursuit of this matter. And by this time, Monday morning, it will be brought to the table of the EFCC and the IG of police for a proper course of action. Gentlemen, it doesn't have to come to that. I have made you an offer that I'm sure <laughs> you cannot possibly refuse. Why don't you accept my offer? You know, as against the consequences of your refusing me. Should we perceive that as a threat, Your Grace? Mm, 
it's a threat. No. I only charge you to be wise. For if we are wise in all things, we inherit glory. But fools inherit shame. Don't be fools, gentlemen. Just a little discretion and you will be well rewarded. Thank you very much, Your Grace. It is only a fool who would not understand the, the threat encased in your little words of wisdom. Be that as it may, let me tell you that World Spring Organization is on its way down and there is nothing you can do about it. We shall be on our way now, but you will be hearing from us very soon. Um, by the way, it has been brought to our notice that a market has been established for spare parts. Human spare parts. I hope World Spring Organization is not involved. I wouldn't be surprised if we discover that he is also heading the organization that is involved in human past trafficking. Do you know what amazes me the most? Is that all this is been done by a refined personage in the commission of the Most High. Yes. And I still find it hard to believe myself that the Archbishop is the one who mastermind the wellspring organizations on the hard deals. He is not only the mastermind, he is also a son of a bitch. Who is covering up his shady days under charity works for the benefit of mankind? People like that are not supposed to walk the face of the earth. Well, whatever may be the case, let's just hope that the fact, as much as we have been able to gather, will be enough to put him behind bars. <laughs> and don't forget, he's a powerful man. I must have connections in high and low places. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not afraid of him. As long as our informant remains true to his words and is able to bring us enough incriminating evidence against him, we have nothing to worry. Let me tell you, the police is all out to nail these people. Yes. I just hope so. Although I'm a little bit scared of what the archbishop is capable of doing. <laughs> well, you can go ahead and worry. As for me, in the, um, I need to relax. And um, when we are doing this, let me call all these escort girls. Too. <laughs> <laughs> you have a point there. And I'm sure you are not going to be left out. <laughs> Cheers, my brother. <laughs> and how do I look, man? Do I look like ready to hit the aisle? Well, you're as good as you look. But hey, get a grip on yourself. 
before you go bust with that excitement I see in your eyes. Well, is that apparent, huh? Well, for everyone that has eyes to see, yes. <laughs> you can't blame me now. I'm getting married to the woman I love. Huh? I mean, tell me, how many guys get that lucky? <laughs> <laughs> it was the same for Casey and I. And your, your getting married today brings in all coming back. Larry, don't even think about having a second wedding. Oh, <laughs> or using my wedding for your oh, renewal of vows. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Let's go, right. man. I need to have a peep at my baby. Hey, haven't you heard what they say? Who? It's bad only to see the bride before the vows. I don't believe in that tradition. Thank you. Now let's go. Hey, but hold on. Hey, hold on. Where is your best man and why is he not here now? At the moment, my priority is my bride. Let's go. You don't say I didn't want you now. Don't say I didn't. I just can't wait to see you at church. Nothing will stop me, I promise. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Mm. I don't want to see you guys in here again! There's a new development, box. Yes, let me have it. Well, your boss, have a wired both the police CIO and NDLEA chairman, Elton Fulain, were able to intercept all the call made through the dancer escort servicing and find a way to deal with them. Hmm. Hmm. Finally, the fall from grace. Have you informed Isabella yet? No, your boss. We are waiting for an instruction. Now I want you to inform her immediately. It is done, your boss. Tell her that I want her and Yvonne to pose as damsel escorts. Tell her I want her to do a good job. And I want all the information, and I repeat, all the information about the organization. Is that clear? It is done, your boss. He who keepeth his mouth and tongue keepeth his soul free of trouble. Yes? You have a duty to perform. The job is on the line. T today? It's my wedding day for Christ's sake. He said to tell you this is how to pay for twisting his hand. We have just two hours. I think you can make it.
Yeah, please, can't you just wait? It's can't. I already told you. I have to go. I promise I'll be back. Is it about your grandfather? Yes. Yes, it's, it's about my grandfather. Just let me go, okay? I'll be back. Bella, I have this gut feeling you're gonna come still dressed in your wedding gown. So I thought, what the heck? Why not dress the part too? Hmm. Cheap bridesmaid, the desperate moment. What information do we need? Yes. The police CIO and his friend at the moment lodging at the Rakra Hotel. They put a call through to the downstairs escort servicing, requesting for two of their best. Now, the girls are supposed to arrive at the hotel by 30 p.m. Three. Is this loaded? Yes, yes. Um, 12 rounds, just in case. Okay. Well, um, the Archbishop wants both of you to get all information on the CIO and his, and his friend retrieved. I hope you girls do a good job. Do we always? <clears throat> I like it. Let's Bye. go. I'm so has good services. We have to see cheap things in matters. Okay, and your names are Mary and uh, Cherry, but to see the CIO and the NDLE chairman. Do you know the room number? Okay, don't worry, I'll check that for you. It's over. I said this from house, I said this from house. Hi! Come on, buddy. What is the room number? If I may ask. I have my room keys, please. Oh, that bastard! I thought to be a girl! No, please, please go down! Sorry, are you with them? Sorry, can I have my room keys, please? Alright, you missed what happened! I missed it! Oh my goodness! You can have That's it. That's not my room number. Can I have my room keys? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Yeah, you are. Sorry. Hello, hello. <laughs> Since you are the chief vice maid, come to the best man. <laughs> I come to think of it. I never really enjoyed my wedding night. So I think um, you'll prove better than the other bride. <laughs> Darling. Yes. I can assure you 
My touch is to die for. I love the skin. Oh, thank you. Come on, honey. Let's see if you or the bride huh? who will prove to be the artist. <laughs> well, in that case, let me get ready for the action. <laughs> good, good, good. So, so. Dinner is ready. Let's go and eat while we wait for her, okay? Come on. Food is the last thing on my mind, sister. Oh. I mean, how can you even suggest food by this time when my Isabella is missing? Oh. I will say that. Isabella is not missing. Wherever she is right now, she's there on her own accord. You don't seem to get it, my sister. I can feel it in my bones. Look, there must be something wrong. Look, that's the point. There is nothing wrong. Isabella has always been planning to run away from you after the wedding ceremony. What do you mean by that? I overheard, okay? I just dropped on a phone conversation with some guy called Bosco to come and pick her up after the wedding ceremony. When was this? A few minutes before the wedding. Hey, I don't get it. Are you trying to insinuate that my Isabella is cheating on me and has been cheating even before our wedding vows? Okay. That's not what I'm saying. The picture Isabella has always been trying to paint for you is not real. Trust me. I feel it in my bones that that girl is going to hurt you so bad that like you won't be able to stand it. God. I don't get you, Casey. Instead of you to be sympathetic with me because I have lost the only woman I love who ran away from me moments after my wedding, you are here trying to fabricate lies against her. That's the point. She is not missing, she just left. You know what? Just go look for your bag and leave, okay? I want to think. Uchi, you're asking me out of your house? Casey, I want to think, okay? Uchi, you're asking me to leave your house? Please leave. <laughs> okay. But don't, don't say I didn't tell you. have the nerve to ask me whether there's anything wrong? Or you think by creeping to bed last night, I would just forget about everything? Do you know what it did to me? Happened to watch you, my bride, walk away minutes after exchanging vows. Do you know what that means to me? I'm sorry, but I can explain. You better explain well. I mean, imagine the humiliation I went through, having to explain to every guest not to get the wrong impression about us. I mean, how on earth can you do that? Correcting the wrong impression. I understand how you feel, believe me. I hated myself for leaving you the way I did, but I needed to go. Something came up. I I got news that my grandfather was ill and he had to be flown abroad last night for treatment. I had to be with him. And you expect me to believe that? Why would I lie? Ochi, I know what you're thinking. You think I ran away to be with someone else, isn't it? And so what's wrong if I think so? Now, why would I run off to be with someone else on my wedding day? Not before, not after. And in broad daylight, in, in the presence of people. Okay, give me some credits. If you didn't go to see anybody, who was that guy who called you minutes before the ceremony? Guy? A guy called Bosco. Bosco? Bosco is my grandfather's male servant, okay? His name is John Bosco. We, we call him Bosco. He's one who called me and told me my grandfather fell ill getting ready for my wedding. I see. No, I'm the one who sees. You, 
you don't believe me and you don't trust me. And that really hurts. What are you starting to believe? Listen to yourself. You left me unattended to. I didn't know what to think. I was thinking something bad had happened to you. I was getting worried. I understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but try and understand. I had to go. My grandfather felt ill getting ready for my own wedding. I felt responsible. Look, he's the only family I've got. Well, that's until you came along. I'm sorry. Julian. Just got me worried because So how is he doing? Well, uh last I checked he was holding his own. But he'll pull through. He's a fighter, I know. So Saying that um, today is like a honeymoon and we're spending it in bed all day. After breakfast. See that from your face. <laughs> Never tell you get you got serious. Like anyway, what are you doing here? I mean, aren't you supposed to be in Kano? Well, Kano headquarters decided I was too good for them, so they transferred me back here. And guess what? I have been reinstated as your partner. You see? It's me and you again. <laughs> it's our time we did it. We were here and we could have been my person. Yeah. Best man. Not to worry. I'll still be a godfather to your son or daughter. Come the next time. Nine, nine months? No, eight months. I have not oh. started that yet. Don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tell me that. What are you doing? Um, okay, what is it? What is it? Anything? No, sir. Um, according to the cleaner, she said first they had gunshots, then pandemonium in the whole hotel. Then when she came to clean the hotel, she found two dead bodies. Although I feel she's so scared to have bone marrows that she wouldn't even remember a thing. That is, if there's anything to remember. I guess you'll be scared too. I mean, if you open your door one day, you'll find two dead bodies. Um. I'm thinking this has a signature of a professional assassin. What do you think? Yeah, I guess you're right. I think the forensics won't find anything but their own fingerprints. Oh boy. Whoever arranged this for the police investigating chief and his friend must have more than a thing in for them. I guess they never saw this coming. Let's check the reception if we can get any more information. Yes, sir. Tell us exactly what happened. Oh, the, the men called up the popular escort service in town and demanded for some girls and they ordered me to pass it into their suit, and which I did. What were their names? Charlie and Mary. <laughs> Funny names. So, when did these girls leave? 
At about when I left the hotel to my home, they were still there, so I assumed they were spending the night there. Okay. Was there anything outside the ordinary? I mean, any exit or entrance that looked suspicious to you while you were still on duty? No, not really. All right, if we need more information, we'll come back, okay? Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. There. You asked if there was any witness, entrance or exit. Do you remember anything? Yeah, I remember something. There were these two ladies that came in. Immediately, the dance girls entered. And she was dressing, one was dressing like a bride, and the other one as a maid of honor. Yeah. That's the way they looked, huh? What time of the day did they come in? Mm, that was about half past three, yeah. Assuming these were guests, what are their names and what rooms they were lodged into? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I did ask for their names. But they asked for room 118. And about when I checked the list on my system, the man that was there with his family checked out at about 12 noon that day. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, sir? The plot is thickening. Come on, we'll call back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. On the murder case. Murder? Yeah. Hmm. What happened? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. Hmm. Guess who got themselves murdered? Guess. Anybody I know? The new police CIO and the NDLEA chairman. Wow. Yeah. No kidding. It's horrible. So, do you guys have any leads as to who might have done this? Not really, but uh, we have a clue. I mean, the receptionist says that two unregistered guests entered the same hotel that afternoon. Mm -hmm. And they were dressed as a bride and a maid of honor. The bride and maid of honor? <laughs> You're surprised, right? Yes, I mean, who goes about killing people dressed as a bride and maid of honor, you know? I mean, it's like making a mockery of the whole wedding thing. I think for that alone, these guys should be found and punished. What makes you think they were guys? Well, aren't they usually? Hmm. The receptionist says there were two young, beautiful ladies. Hmm. Female assassins. <laughs> wow, that's a new one. In fact, I think that's really cool. You seem to like it. Well, I mean, yes. You guys seem to have all the fun. Let's the ladies do something once in a while. The change will be bad. <laughs> well, I think this time they agree with you. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, they got the whole office busy and everybody's running helter-skelter. Just trying to sort it out. Well, I think that should help add some spice to your boring job. Who said my job is boring? Can't we? But honey, you do have a boring job. What do you do? Go about chasing bandits. Get them off the street for your sake. <laughs> <laughs> Give you for your little indiscretion, just like the other time. I don't think it's any of your business, Yvonne. Tell me something. Why did you marry the poor guy in the first place? At least I know it's not because of love. Because you and I both know that you don't even have a heart, let alone have feelings. So how is that possible? Do I detect a tinge of jealousy in your voice, Yvonne? Well, hell no. 
But since you asked, I will tell you. Aside from the fact that Uche is good for business, I married him to see if I could um, experience that normal side of life. The one that the likes of you and I can never dream of having. To see if I could have the best of both worlds. And you know what? I did it and I accomplished it. I have the love of a normal man who, by the way, thinks I'm the best thing since sliced bread. And um, I'm having a ball, which, my dear, is way more than you can ever dream of achieving, if you did. You are all welcome. I think I should uh, like to say to you all that I am very pleased. Pleased with all of you because the organization is doing very well. And I must not fail to mention the fact that this is due to all of you, to all your committed services to the works of the Almighty in offering help to mankind. In this regard, our human parts network is a great testimony. But as all good doers, there are always people amongst them who will turn around and betray them. A case in point is that of the late CIO of police and the late NDLEA chairman may their sinful souls rot in hell. I feel it in my guts. I feel it in my guts that some people from our bosom have been feeding them with information about this organization. I say to you, these people are not fit to live on the face of the earth. Like Judas, they must hang to die. Basco, Bruno, Jumbo. I want this modern day Judas found, and I mean as soon as possible. Have no fear, Your Grace. We get the misgrant as soon as possible. He must surely pay. Good. Now to the actual execution of these two bastards. I would like to congratulate Isabella and uh, Yvonne. What a job, well done. Well, uh, first of all, thank you, Your Grace. Although we were not able to retrieve the file containing information against the organization. Oh, oh the bloody sons of bitches. My sentiments, exactly. In fact, I think they wanted to make sure we remained suspect if anything happened to them. Especially now, the state is investigating their murder. Yes, you're right. But ladies and gentlemen, I say to you, in cases like this, we must remain calm and undaunted. We tighten our nets and keep our ears to the ground to make sure there are no surprises. In this regard, Isabella, you will help us report any new development through your husband. We will do, Your Grace. Good. Um... What is the next item? Um, your grace. I thought I should bring to your notice 
that our supplies of human organs at the lab are seriously depleting. And our clients, the Oregon Hearts Foundation, are in their need of supplies. And they are looking to order from some other people in their business. No, no, no. Oregon. Oh, yes. Oregon, we must do everything we can to make sure they are happy. We cannot afford to lose Oregon. They are our biggest client yet. Um, if I may suggest to your grace, I think we should make a larger percentage of the cultivation during the festive period, like Christmas, because um, that's when people are led to believe ritual killings take place by politicians and businessmen alike. That way, nobody looks our way. Hmm. Yes, it's a good idea. But we cannot limit our cultivation to Christmas period alone. It will seriously deplete our stock. Not if we minimize our clientele and tread with caution while cultivating during the off season. And in the meantime, we register under phony names, under these public children activities. You know, and we lure children to us, pick and choose. That way, nobody's the wiser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's an excellent idea. Thank you. My dear, I have no doubt you have inherited your grandfather's brain. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank you, my dear. Any, any other point? I can't take it. I really can't take it. This is what I'm about to I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're so worked up about. You know what? Whenever it comes to Isabella, you never seem to see. I'm beginning to suspect that you actually admire her. Really? Yes. The reason why you hate Isabel and everything about her, I know. Can't you see? Can't you see that Isabella is just a low-down glory seeker who is going about making suggestions when nobody asks for opinions and then trying to make the rest of us look like non-entities? Well, that wasn't the impression I got. Everyone, including the Archbishop, was impressed by her ideas. And if you forget your hatred for one minute, you'll find that she's made sense. And besides, no one stopped you from bringing in your own ideas. I pity you. I pity you. You know why? Because you still don't understand the kind of person Isabella is. She's grabbing all the doors for herself. Tell me something. How many assignments have you had in a while? None. And yet you still don't get my point. You know what? Maybe when you become an expendable asset in the organization, and then you would say, I told you so. Well, you don't have to be worried about me, Yvonne. If you look away for a minute and find out the beef between you two, then chew it up and swallow it before it gets you into trouble. Excuse me. I've had enough for one day, please.
baby. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been wondering. You know, these rumors going about your grandfather and the foundation, are they really true? Rumors? What rumors? You mean you haven't heard your foundation is being seen as a den for drugs? Organ trafficking and high-grade prostitution and all that? What? Where did you hear such rubbish? From the office, of course. And if you must know, Wellspring Foundation is in the black book of the police. And your grandfather is being seen as a suspect for most of the crimes going on. And you believe that? Well... I don't know. What? Honey, baby, look at me. I work for Wellspring Foundation. Now, does anything about me indicate prostitution or murder? Of course not, my dear. So what are you talking about? I don't believe this. This is a slander on the good intentions of the foundation. We are talking about my grandfather here, an archbishop, a man ordained by God. Think about it. It's insane. I don't know. I mean, I guess you're right, okay? The more I think about it, the more ridiculous it seems to me. But hey, please, don't blame the police, okay? They don't know you or your grandfather more than I do. Well, the police had better correct that impression before it gets out. Because if it does, trust me, even the force is not above the law. Or the wrath of God, for that matter. Hey, hey, he hasn't gotten to that yet. I mean, we are talking about the law here. Law. Tell that to the police who clearly have nothing better to do. Hey, you look too pretty when you're angry. Oh, I did cut me. Is the money in place? Yes, but I uh, will need certification to know if these uh, organs are in top shape. Of course. Can I see them? By all means. SDF Alpha 760. Compound. But do you know it almost defeats the purposes of these organs when you think of the little lives that are wasted in order to acquire them? Don't you think it's better they give up their organs now they're still young and fresh rather than later when they've destroyed them with drinking and smoking? You don't really mean that. Do you? My business here is done. Good day, gentlemen.
Tieni Wadansia. Oh, I recall me. Is the money in place? Yes, but uh, we need certification to know if these uh, organs are in top shape. Of course. Can I see them? By all means. SDF Alpha 760. Confirmed. But do you know it almost defeats the purposes of these organs when you think of the little lives that are wasted in order to acquire them? Don't you think it's better they give up their organs now they're still young and fresh rather than later when they've destroyed them with drinking and smoking? You don't really mean that. Do you? My business here is done. Good day, gentlemen. Pretty as usual, huh? So, why did you look very surprised when you saw me at the door? Well, I didn't know your timeout would end so soon. Timeout? What timeout are you talking about? Isabella said you girls were meeting up and, uh, never mind. that Isabella and I are not the best of friends. So why would she ever come to my place for a girl's time out? Now, if you two girls don't get along, then what are you doing here? I mean, where is she? How would I know? I came here because... because I like you. I'm attracted to you, Jay. It hurts me to know that you're living a lie with Isabella. What do you mean? Don't tell me you don't get curious. What does your wife do for a living? And where does she disappear to? And why would she tell you that she's coming over to my place for a girl's time out when I know that the last thing she would do is breathe the same air as I do? She doesn't deserve you, MJ. She doesn't love you. Give me a chance. <clears throat> what the hell is going on here? Isabella. Very bad that she came here at the time that I was just about leaving. Bye, MJ. This is Isabella.
Okay. What are you doing with Yvonne? What did this seem like to you? I want an answer, not another question. What's Yvonne doing in this house in my absence? Sorry, but this is time for questioning. So you answer to this? Where are you coming from? Why you lost your tongue? I said, where are you coming from? It's obvious you're not coming from Yvonne's place. So where are you coming from? What did she tell you? What she said doesn't matter. What concerns me is where you are coming from. Where? Where did you go? Rubbish. What stunts are you trying to pull? I don't know what you're talking about. But whatever it is, it sure did ruffle your feathers, I can see. This is just the beginning. If anything happens to my marriage, I swear to God, hell will not be big enough to hide you. Do you understand me? Poor you. You know, Pierre discovers the reason why call girls like us are not supposed to get married. But what have you done? Obviously, you chose to forget the rules, and now you're afraid that when your husband finds out the kind of girl that you are, he'll eventually throw you out. <laughs> Gosh, I can't wait to see that happen to you. You'll die first, even if I had to kill you with my own bare hands. Yvonne, I won't warn you again. In fact, next time, I will be too inclined to use words. We'll just wait and see. Don't forget, I know what you know. Isabella, you almost exposed the activities of the foundation into the open. I mean, how could you do such an irresponsible thing? I'm sorry, Your Grace. I didn't mean to. I didn't know. You didn't know what? How? You didn't know! You didn't know out of blind jealousy? That you inadvertently made that police, that policeman become suspicious of Isabella and the foundation, not to mention me. I mean, what got into you, child? Nothing got into me, Your Grace. Nothing. I only did what I deemed necessary at the moment. It's not fair that Isabella is allowed to do everything while we, the other girls at the foundation, are left with nothing to do. Besides, Isabella is a cheat and a liar. And I only felt pity for that poor boy. I used to must have feeling pity for that officer. You have no business feeling pity for anybody. Because the God Almighty himself did not appoint you as his guardian angel. That officer is a fool and is getting fool's reward. And that will be your lot if you do not start reparation immediately. With all due respect, Your Grace, if by reparation you mean she should go talk to him again, I don't think so. Mm -mm. There's no way I'm letting the snake anywhere near my husband. But, 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 but that's part of the punishment. No, thank you. He's my problem and I'll handle him. Find some other way to punish him. Yvonne, it is my decision that you be suspended from the foundation immediately. That your salary and allowances be suspended until further notice. No, Your Grace, you can't do that. This is my only means of survival. If you suspend me, how can I cope? You should have thought of that when you went prattling off to your police, police friend. No, you're crazy. I said get out! This 
I can't believe this. This is just not happening. No. Can you imagine me, a whole me, getting suspended because of that unpity witch? Oh, this, no, so this is just not happening. <laughs> How do you mean it's not happening? Was it not the Archbishop that suspended you? <laughs> my day is already happening, you better believe it. Tasha, you don't get it. You don't get it, do you? Look, first, my car has been taken away from me, coupled with the other benefits I get as the Foundation's mercenary. All because of who? Because of Isabella! That witch! God, I curse the day she was born. <sighs> but I warned you, Yvonne. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. See where your jealousy has landed you for Isabel. You better go looking for Isabel and ask her to forgive you before it's too late or you're done for. <sighs> what? <laughs> Me? Go searching for Isabella and ask her for her forgiveness? Never. I would never do that even if she holds the air that I must breathe. I would never do that. I see. So what are you going to do then? I adopted one of the children at the orphanage six years ago. That's my big secret. So why haven't you told me all this while? I don't know. I didn't tell you before the wedding. I just didn't know how I was going to tell you now. But then we are married, okay? What's wrong with that? I was going to tell you. I was just looking for the right time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where is she? She's in a boarding house. I try to see her at least twice a month if I can help it. How old is she? She's 12 now. Honey, I'm sorry. I was going out to tell you. I miss you. Yvonne knew you didn't know. That's why she came. She's always been the jealous one. She's envious of me and everything I have. And that includes you. Can't you see? She's trying to ruin our marriage. Please don't let her, please. Let's do it this way, okay? The only way I'm going to forgive you is make sure you bring that girl here. Okay? On her next holiday. I will. Promise. Are we okay? Okay. Can I read my paper? No. I know you want me, baby. 
It must be very, very, very difficult for you to abide by all the rules of looking and never touching. Ah. So today, I have come to make all your dreams come true. Welcome back to the country, sir. I hope you had a worthwhile trip. Thank you very much, Sam. Yes, I did. Even though I had to cut my trip short to come back. Now, what's this thing I hear about the murder of the police CIO and the NDLA chairman? Is it correct? I'm afraid it is so, sir. They were both murdered in a hotel in Lagos while investigating a case against Wellspring Foundation. Did you say Wellspring Foundation? Yes, sir. This same foundation is believed to have masterminded several human organs trafficking in the state. Now, what have you done in the interim as a clue to ascertain the level of involvement of this, of this organization in this murder case? Not at the moment, sir. Oh, come on. But just before his death, we received a mail from the chief investigating officer of the case. Yes. It is this mail that we have as the only clue as to what led to his death, sir. Good! Now, what I wanted to do is to let me have the content of that mail immediately you leave here. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Good. And, by the way, Sam, did you realize that the office of the CIO is still vacant? Yes, sir. And we need to replace them, I mean, replace them immediately. No problem, sir. My secretary is already preparing a list of possible qualified candidates for the position. As soon as this list is ready, I'll get them to your table, sir. All right, Sam. It's just that um, I have somebody in mind uh, who can take that place, a uh, position rather. No problem, sir. No problem, sir. You got me there. No, oh, darling. I promise you, as soon as I'm through with the commissioner, I'll come back to you. Yes. On my own. Okay? Come on. Oh, don't I love it. Alright then, Chica. I have some money for you. So as soon as you're through with her, check up in the hospital if you can buy her something. Please don't drop my money. Please take care of my baby, okay? I will. Darling, love you. Mwah. Why not say bye to daddy? Bye, dad. Bye, love. Bye. You go make your hair. You said it's a matter of urgency. Yes, please sit down. Thank you, sir. Actually, 
What I want to do for me is more of a favor. I'm sure you heard about the murder of the police CIO and the NDLA chairman. Oh, yes, I did, sir. It's all over the news. As I speak to you, as we talk together now, um, the CIO's office is still very vacant. I would want you to occupy that seat as, as a favor to me, if you don't mind. Well, sir, with due respect to you, sir, I, I may have to turn down your, your offer. Sir, I took a vow and a decision to quit the police force because of my wife's death as a result of my involvement in a dangerous case. Yes, I realize it was quite an unfortunate incident, your wife's death. But vows made can also be broken. And I'm sure by the time you get to know a person or persons behind this, you might want to cave in. No, sir. Knowing about it will not make me change my mind. I am done with the force. I've carved a niche for myself, sir. I own a security outfit and I'm doing very well. As a matter of fact, my daughter and I are very much safer now than we used to be. Michael, just cast your mind back. And um, does this name strike you? Theophilus Asuji? Does it ring a bell in your ears? Theophilus Suji. You mean have I forgotten the man who duped and stripped my father of everything? Including his honor as a man by impregnating his wife, my mother. And as if that was not enough, took their lives in the process. Never. I could never forget such a man in a hurry. You've really not forgotten. So what has he got to do with all of this? Yeah, you see, before the uh, CIO's death, there was this startling revelation, a, a crucial information which he found out uh, that there's this, but this organization that's into all manner of businesses, shady businesses, as it were, um, espionage, drug trafficking, trafficking human parts, so on and so forth, by name, Wellsprings Organization. And in the course of his informal investigation, he found out that, that this very organization could be headed by an archbishop by name, Theophilus Osuji. So are you sure about this? Because that man's heart is too black to be a priest, <laughs> reverend, pastor, let alone an archbishop? So, are you sure we're talking about the same person here, sir? Actually, I have not known him that much. Uh, so, I wouldn't say whether he's the very person we're talking about here. But I want to believe that you are the only person that can find out this for me. And I will also think and believe that you should be able to find and get more information that could help us nail him. Our adventure is found out to be behind this uh, Wellsprings criminal network. Wellsprings. Well, didn't I hear Wellsprings being something of a charity organization? Exactly. But you see, from the CIO's revelation into things more sinister than we can imagine. So. Sir. I'm very sorry. But my answer is still the same. It's because of criminals like Theophilus Osuji that I joined the force. But when my wife died, I realized that one man cannot change this world. There will be more murders. There will be more criminals. There will be more shattered dreams and shattered hopes. There will be more criminals like Theophilus Osuji. I'm sorry, sir. My answer is no.
7 o'clock news headlines. Yesterday, at the Guinea Ice Cream Park, a young lady was shot dead by some suspected kidnappers who made away with the young lady's word. The ID found on the body of this young lady revealed her identity as Miss Udenwa Chika. The police is still waiting for anyone who has any information whatsoever regarding the identity of this young lady and implores the general public to take necessary precautions towards protecting the lives of their young ones in this perilous period. Is she the one? Daughter's nanny. Anything else? No, sir. But then we have a feeling that this kidnapping has a connection to several others which have been taking place for some time now. You mean. You mean this occurs regularly? Yes, sir. And we suspect it is being carried out by the same organization. So what, what's happening here? Have they asked for anything? What do they want? They usually don't. I'm afraid these children have other purposes other than ransoming. Who are these people? Nobody knows, sir. With this one. She'll be of no use to us. Why? I'm afraid she has a cancerous kidney. <laughs> what a waste. Kill her then, so we can get it over and done with. No. I mean, there's no need. <laughs> Why not? You heard the doctor. She's sick and dying, so she's of no use to us. Yes, she's going to die anyway, whether we do it ourselves or not. What the hell is going on here? Is our Isabella suddenly getting too soft or what? I just think it's best we conserve our energy bearing another worthless corpse. Let her die with her family. She's their problem. Yes, my dear friend. Thank you. Um, I think so too. In that case, you know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Darling, darling, I'm here. It's me. Babe. 
may be, I'm so sorry. But I'm here now, okay? I'm going to be with you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Yes, sir. Mr. Michael Demo here is here to see you, sir. Please let him in. All right, sir. Good day, sir. Good day, Michael. Good day, sir. I didn't expect to see you soon after you turned on my request. Or have you suddenly changed your mind? Well, sir, I'd like to take you up on that offer. That is, if the position is still open. But I know why you suddenly changed your mind. Sir, I have come to realize that running away will not guarantee immunity from crime. I have come back to fight it. So, is that safe to say, to say welcome back to the force? Yes, sir. That is where you really belong. So, welcome back to the force. Yes, so, as soon as you leave here, get to the personnel and uh, they'll sort you out. All right? Thank you, sir. Now that the new CIO has been appointed, I think we should consolidate our position with him so that he can instruct his boys to look the other way as we carry out our lawful operations. Well, Your Grace, what if the new CIO is not one looking the other way? What do we do? Oh, well, we don't assume. Why don't we talk to him first? Besides, I don't think he would like to follow his predecessor since he would not like to have the same kind of unfortunate end. In our usual way, we start with diplomacy. If that fails, you know what to do. Mm. A prudent man foreseeth evil and hides away. The simple go and get punished. Invitation, you say? Yes, Your Grace. And what is the function? Um, it's the swearing in party of the new police investigation officer signed by the commission. Really? Thank you, Oliver. Yes, Your Grace. <laughs> oh, here is one with a little bit of common sense. What else can this invitation be than a statement from this young boy saying, I understand, and uh, he's ready to play ball. <laughs>
você tem que ir. have released that girl. We could have used her as a good bargaining tool. I'm sorry, Your Grace. The little girl was sick and we didn't know she was going to come in and hand it later on. Even at that? What, 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 what made you release her? What gave you the temerity to take such an action without my authorizing it? Bosco wasn't the one that made the orders for the girl's release, Your Grace. What? He was only following orders. He wasn't? Whose orders was he following? Isabella's. Isabella? Isabella was the one that made that authorization, Your Grace. To tell you the truth, we're all very surprised when she said that. And if you'd ask me, I would tell you that she's becoming very, very soft ever since she got married to that officer of a guy. So if we don't take care of her, she's probably going to fail us at the end. Hmm. Bosco, call me Isabella at once. Yes, Your Grace. Isabella, what in the places were you thinking of? Do you know how much that decision of yours has cost us? I'm sorry, Your Grace, but I had no way of knowing she was the CIO's daughter. I just figured since she had a cancerous kidney, she was of no use to us dead or alive. Oh, that is nonsense talk! And you know it! Nonsense! You are not being paid to think those foolish thoughts, however charitable. However charitable! as a disadvantage now. Well, let's look on the bright side. I doubt that girl is smart enough to know what was going on around her. So. There you go with your stupid assumptions again. What makes you think that that girl cannot talk? <laughs> look. <laughs> Where are the case notes of the late investigating officer? They are probably right on the table of the new appointed one. We are greatly disadvantaged. I'm sorry, Your Grace. It was not my intention to complicate issues. Please forgive me. Well, while you are feeling sorry for yourself, think of how we are going to get out of the situation. I'll do whatever it takes. Round. Get yourself prepared. You are going on an assignment soon. An assignment? Yes. The new investigating officer has just called the nanny services for a nanny. And you are going to represent that nanny. I'm going undercover as a nanny? Yes. No offense, Your Grace, but the only thing I know about children are their organs and how they work. Learn fast, because you are going to be there for as long as it takes to get all the information that I require, then after which you will kill him and kill his daughter. Is that clear? But what if she recognizes me even before I start? Well, let us hope that she's not clever enough, as you said. Ready to go. Dear, please don't go, okay? Yes. 
Listen to me for once. I have to. I have to work. It's the reason I'm being paid. What kind of work I told you do that? You don't even have time for your family, your marriage, me. All you do is jump from one country to another place. And I don't even know what you do. I have answered that question time and time again. In fact, the fact that you're asking me means you don't believe a word I have said. I work for my grandfather and that's all I can tell you. You do things about time your grandfather realized that you're a married woman. I mean, you need to take care of your home. Well, that's not what I'm again for, man. Please. And I'm really sorry you feel this way. But I can't discuss this now. I have a plane to catch. So when I get back, we'll sit down and think about the next best course of action. Meaning what exactly? Meaning I don't want to be that woman who ties down a man in a marriage he's not happy with. I don't want to be a hindrance to your happiness. So I suggest you sit back, think about what you want, what's important, and we'll make a decision. Okay? to hear that. Do you think so? Of course. You're such a darling. Mwah. Of course I do think so. Hmm? You're going to do daddy one favor. What is it? You're not going to ask daddy any more questions until she comes. Huh? Promise? Deal? Deal. Good. Rebecca Pierre from the agency. Oh, okay. Rebecca Pierre. Okay. All right. I'm Michael. And here is my lovely daughter, Melissa. Sweetie, why don't you say hi to Mrs. Pierre? Hi, Mrs. Pierre. Hello, Melissa. How are you? I've been looking forward to meet you. I'm sure you and I are going to be very good friends. What do you say? <laughs> Please forgive my daughter. She's not always this shy. Uh, that's fine. I'm still a stranger to her, but not for long, I can assure you. Oh, please. Thank you. Mrs. Pierre. That sounds French. Uh, well, yes, my late husband is from Ivory Coast, but I'm Nigerian. Oh, I'm so sorry about your husband. Oh, that's okay. Thanks. Well, you're welcome to my home. Uh, can I... Can I call you Rebecca? No, I'd rather you called me Mrs. Pierre. Sir. 
Yeah, fine. Uh, so, I can show you the way around the house. Yeah? Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so this is the kitchen. Hello? Hello, hi. Um, my name is Michael Udemuya, police CIO. I'd like to confirm the identity of one Mrs. Rebecca Pierre. Yes, does she work with your service? Oh, okay. So you can confirm that. All right, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Miss Pierre. Miss Pierre. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Miss Pierre. Morning. What time is it? Time for my birth. I've already had my breakfast. <sighs> Don't you know you're not supposed to eat before you have a bath? Yeah, he went there to give me a, but so I ate breakfast with daddy. I see. Where's your daddy now? They have left for work. He's gone to work? Oh my god, is it that late? Oh. My spare, can I call you Becky? Uh, well. Only if you promise. To beg your daddy not to sack me for waking up late. You do that? Deal. Good girl. Deal. Okay, um, let's go and give you a bath. And where are you going, Mrs. Pierre? Aren't you joining us? I'll have my dinner in my room, sir. I don't think so. You will join us on the table. No, it's fine. I'll join I insist. Dad, guess what? What, Angel? Miss Pia said I can call her back in if, if I help her to tell you not to suck her. <laughs> suck her? Well, why would I want to do that? She only just got here, baby. Because she woke up late this morning. I'm so sorry I overslept. I didn't mean to. It's okay. I understand. I mean, it was just your first day. But I trust it will never happen again. <laughs> no, never. Good. Now, can I call you back? Of course, darling. We had a deal, remember? I hope this deal also includes me. No. Come on, sweetie. I should be included in this deal. On this deal. I mean, come on. Um, calling Pierre is tongue twisting for me, Nigerians. Don't you think? and find something to read. Oh, really? How did you intend to do that with the lights out? Well, I didn't want to wake anybody up, so I figured I might as well use a flashlight. I see. Well, I don't know if you like my kind of literature. I, I have a whole collection of John Grisham's. If that will interest you, that's if you're fine. Uh, that's fine. If, as long as it's a romantic, I'm, I'm good. Oh. 
One would never have thought it. What? That the unapproachable Mrs. Pierre is um, a romantic at heart. Besides, you look really beautiful. Without the scarf and the glasses on, that is. Uh, thank you, I guess. I wonder why you bother with them at all. You have such natural beauty. I mean, you're so beautiful. I need my glasses to read. Really? Ever heard of contact lenses? I don't care much for beauty. Okay, it um, comes with too much pressure. From men? What? Are you scared of being attractive? Why do you wear lots of black? Are you trying to hide your beauty? Did you love him that much? That you mourn him till now? Yeah. Maybe. You have such natural beauty with very fine features. Reminds me of someone. She could at least crawl so I could hear her voice. God knows I miss her. I know. I sure do know, and I'm sorry. I feel so useless not being able to trust her. I keep thinking, what if all of, I've, I've heard about the foundation, the grandfather, what if they were all wrong? But you know the odds are against that. Even you with your own very eyes saw all the evidence pulling up against Wellspring. <laughs> if the Archbishop is involved, then I'm sorry, Isabella is most likely involved too. God, why did I fall for the wrong woman? Why me? Come on, Jane. Don't be hard on yourself. No one can actually direct the course of love or change its will. All you need to do is to put yourself together and um, move on with life. I hear you, bro. I wonder if that's possible. <laughs> Impossible. That's what we all say at the beginning of any heartbreak. But believe me, in no time, you'll be yourself. For a start, you must agree to come with me to the party at the headquarters today in honor of the new CIO. Okay, I don't think I'm in the mood for any party, okay? Man, I'm not in the right frame of mind. I'm sorry, bro. I can't relish the idea of you sitting at home moping in the house while I go out there enjoying myself in my conscience. You have to come with me and I promise you it's gonna be fun. 
That's a promise. Whatever. Whatever means you're coming, right? <laughs> it toast to that day. I can't believe I could have lost her too. Murdered by a gang who wanted me off a case I was working on. Her death was a form of warning of sorts. One would have thought fate would deal me Lillian's hand. But fate doesn't always work the way we want it, does it? Well, at least she's alive. You have that to be grateful for. Not for long. What do you mean? After her mother's death, I realized the duty I owed Melissa. So I retired from the police force. That was before I found out. Before I found out, Melissa had a cancerous kidney. My God, I'm so sorry to hear that. It must be terrible for you. I mean, isn't there something you can do? Maybe a transplant? Yeah, many doctors have recommended it, but I'm still thinking about it. Look, I know you're scared. You have every right to be. But look at it this way, you have a chance to save her life. I mean, she might leave. And she might die. You've grown really fond of my daughter. 
And perhaps her father too. Melissa is a wonderful girl. You can't help but love her. So. Mm. Can I ask you for a favor? What? Sir. There's this dinner party that's been held in my honor. And I must make an appearance. I need you to be my escort. I'm sorry I can't. It's not my job. I think it's my prerogative as your employer to decide what is and what isn't your job. I'm here to babysit and you signed an agreement. I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but I'm afraid I can't go anywhere with you. Get it for you. I understand. Good night. Grandpa is right. I am dragging my feet. But why am I being hesitant? Isabella, do this thing. What's wrong with you? Whatever you think you feel for this guy, don't let it get the better of you. This is business. No sentiments involved, remember? This is not the time for matters of the heart. Snap out, find the evidence. like it? That's not the point, then you know. Then what is? Would you rather go to the party just like this? Michael, I already told you. Don't push it. I'm not going to your damn party. Finally. She calls me by my first name. Look, I am not going anywhere without you. And I must go to the damn party. Rebecca, don't tempt me. I won't hesitate to dress you up myself. Maybe that's what you really want. I didn't think so. 
So, my dear, you have 20 minutes to get ready. We don't want to keep the organizers waiting now, do we?
Bosco! Bruno Mama! Sorry, not in my mind. I have a minute to ask. Nobody seems to have seen the Iron Lady, Isabella. What is cooking? So you didn't know? She's walking undercover as a nanny in the new CIO's house. The game plan is for her to gather all the information, West the man and his daughter. Well, I'll be damned. I didn't know that. Well, in the organization, it is a top secret. But I trust you. Well, I have to be running off now. Why? I thought that we are heading to the bar after here. It's not that time. I have an urgent urgency to run. Catch up. This is not ordinary. This is extraordinary. Something is happening. Something is wrong. It's a smoke screen to hide what's really happening. It's a game of deception to give the people the wrong impression to cover up the evil functions, to cover up the evil actions. Hello, sir. The organization have sent a killing machine to meet you and your daughter. No, Chief. I just found her not quite long. She'll be posing herself as your daughter, Nani. Her real name is Isabella. Okay, Chief. Okay, sir. for yourself. Where the hell did you get this? I don't think that's the question at hand, Your Grace. Or should I say, Father? What, you think I wouldn't find out? That the man who allegedly adopted me, nurtured me, turned me into a killer machine. Someone I called grandfather is no other person but my father. How could you? How do you sleep? Don't you have a heart? That's enough, Isabella. I was doing you a favor. Yes, I may be your father. But how many fathers have you had who have come back for their daughters born to them by whoring prostitutes who have little or no regard for the sanctity of marriage? Yes. I came back after your mother and uh, her so-called husband died. See, what a gorgeous creature you have turned out. You mean after you snatched me away from her arms and killed her and her husband? <laughs> I can see that stupid fool has been filling your head with rubbish. I sent you there to do a job, not to listen to the prattling of a fool. Michael has said nothing, you sanctimonious devil. You dare call me names. Are you out of your mind? I can snuff life out of you with a twist of my, of my wrist. I can call you whatever I please and you can do nothing. Do you know why? Because you're nothing without That's me. enough. That is enough. Isabella, or you will regret it for the rest of your life. Before you go any further with your threats, Your Grace, I want to inform you that I want out on this dirty organization. In, in fact, I'm out. 
starting from this minute. I am sorry to disappoint you, my dear Isabella. You think you can wash your hands of the organization just like that? It is till death do you part. Because once you are in, you can never get out. Really? Watch you. You know what you stand to lose, Isabella? I can give the police all the information they need to nail you. Espionage, drug deals, even the organization. Oh yes, I can make you look so bad as the bad egg that has corrupted the entire organization. You would do that? To your own daughter? Don't push me. What do you want from me? Haven't you done enough? Haven't you used me enough? Taken enough? You are still on assignment. Now you finish that assignment. Then we bargain. This last time, and I'm out. We shall see. Oh, we shall see. but I don't think we can trust Isabella to execute that assignment, Your Grace. I suggest we do something first before we get any surprises. You know what to do. This is not ordinary. This is extraordinary. Something is happening Something is wrong It's a smoke screen To hide what's really happening It's a game of deception To give the people the wrong impression To cover up the evil function to cover up the evil action oh, oh, oh. Uche, forgive me, for I know I have put you through a lot. And you probably hate me by now for it. But I can explain. You see, I was taught at a young age by a man I looked up to that you either use people or they turn around and use you in order to achieve a motive, whether good or bad. I used you, Uche, and I'm sorry. I have seen the questions in your eyes far more times than I can count. You never really knew, but the love you showed me gave me so much joy. And for that, I feel I should reveal to you the real person behind the woman you call a wife. Your police department is right about Royal Spring. We are all you say we are and more. The human parts, trafficking and drug dealings and all are all for real. And I am one of the head assassins of the organization and recently discovered a legit daughter of the CEO of the company, the bishop. In fact, Uche, I am the killer bride who took out your boss and the NDLA chairman. As I write this letter, I am on a mission to kill the new police bureau of investigation and his daughter. But I know I can't do it. 
because I know you'll be sorry to hear this, Uche, but I have fallen in love with him. By the time you read this letter, I may be out of sight or even dead. But whatever the case may be, I want you to know I am really sorry for all the pain I have put you through. And I will continue to love you in my own little way. Goodbye, Uchi. I miss you too, darling. How are you? Okay, sweetheart, you need to come inside, okay? Why did you come back? To complete your assignment, Isabella. Oh yes, I know a whole lot about you. I hear you are the Archbishop's killer machine. So why didn't you kill me and my daughter? I couldn't. You couldn't? Or you... You feel strongly for me as I feel for you. I just couldn't. You're lying. You knew there was something, some form of connection between us the moment you stepped into this house. And the love grew, just as mine grew. It doesn't matter what I felt or feel. You and I are from two different worlds. You're a cop, and I'm a repentant criminal. I stole this from you. And this is all you need to take the organization down. What are these? It's all the information you need on the drugs, the murders, the kidnaps. You know they will hunt you down. They will kill you, knowing you failed in your assignment. They will kill me anyway because I quit. Look. Listen, you don't have to go. We can fight them. Together we will fight them. I will protect you. You can't protect me. Besides, I don't want to drag you into this. That's how much I care. Investigation, not Isabella. I'm sorry, Your Grace. But really, there was nothing I could do. Isabella got in the line of fire at the very last minute. I'm sure she was only protecting the man. Oh, you wicked girl. You wicked, wicked girl. I bet. 
death you killed her out of blind jealousy. You killed my daughter. You killed my daughter and you have the guts to come back to me and say you are sorry. You are sorry. I'll show you sorry. The crystal. <laughs> Surrounded by the police. Put away your weapons. I do not take any unwise steps. Come out with your hands behind your head. Please, we need an ambulance immediately. Move on out. 